Good afternoon. It is with great pride and excitement that I welcome and thank you for coming to Clark's 6th Annual Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Four former outstanding athletes will be honored and inducted today. These four individuals accepted the challenge, put in the work, and provided the Clark, the Clark community with an inspirational example of leadership in athletics. I would like to begin the program with a prayer from Clark University Vice President for Student Life, Kate Zamp. Good afternoon. Strong and loving God, you have blessed Clark University with talented athletes. This afternoon, some of our graduates are inducted into this Hall of Fame. We are mindful of the words of St. Paul when he speaks about those who have run the good race and fought the good fight. These individuals have done that and deserve their rewards today. May those who are recognized for their athletic success appreciate that the talents they enjoy and the fame that they receive are gifts to be humbly returned to you and to the service of your people. Bless them and each one of us with a persevering spirit to become the best that you call us to be. We pray these things in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Kate. At this time, I would like to introduce you to Joanne Burroughs, President of Clark University. Athletics Hall of Fame. Um, you know, officially, uh, official intercollegiate athletic competition began in Clark in the 1970s. I was at other women's colleges at the time, and that's actually very late for most women's colleges in this country. However, today, athletics now plays a very important role on our campus and is a key component in the uh, collegiate life, student life experience. Oh, it's not bothering me. He's <laughs> fine. Um, athletic events are drivers of spirit and vitality on our campus. Community and camaraderie are created when students, faculty, and staff gather together for baseball games, volleyball matches, or uh, brave the elements when they're out watching soccer. Our entire campus community benefits from Crusader athletics. This year, we have 337 student athletes participating and 18 athletic teams. Nearly 48% of our undergraduate enrollment are student athletes. Clark athletics came, Clark athletes come from around the globe. Their diverse backgrounds enrich all of us in academic and athletic environments. They also travel around the world for competition and always seem to manage to be in warm places in the winter months. Mm -hmm. quite figure that out how so they do that all the time, but nonetheless. They participate in the NAI Champions of Character Initiative, giving back through their community involvement in service. Clark has been designated a Champions of Character five-star institution by the NAIA for the last six years. Student athletes read to Fulton Elementary classes, host career awareness events, volunteer to spend time with nursing home residents, work at the Knights of Columbus Bingo, and the list goes on and on. Athletic involvement provides a rich collegiate experience for student athletes. Their commitment to their sport and teams and teammates, as well as their commitment to service provide for them tremendous opportunities for development in areas such as leadership, time management, dedication, and integrity. As you know, as athletes, many of yourself, yourself, many life skills and life lessons are gained through athletic competition. Today, we are pleased to recognize four accomplished individuals for their contributions to Clark's athletic program. To them, I offer my congratulations and welcome them as members of the Clark University Hall of Fame. Thank you for being here to celebrate these individuals and now I'll turn it back over to Kurt. Thank 
Thank you, Sister Joanne. We are delighted to honor individuals who are an important part of the history of Clark. Clark has offered intercollegiate athletics since 1974 when Jane Zanetti guided the first women's basketball team to a 6-9 record. The Clark University Athletics Hall of Fame inducts its sixth class after 42 years of intercollegiate sports. For those of you that haven't followed Clark Athletics for a few recent years, we now have 18 sports with last year's edition of men's and women's lacrosse. We are currently in our first year of full membership of the NAIA's Heart of America Athletic Conference. Clark was a member of the NAIA from 1989 to 1995, joined the NCAA in the fall of 1995, and then returned to the NAIA in 2007. The process of organizing and developing criteria for Hall of Fame induction and the nomination and selection process is informative and rewarding for all who serve on the committee. And I would like to thank all of the people who were instrumental in the organization of this event. Clark University and the Athletics Hall of Fame are pleased to honor Bill McNally, Jill Slater-Miller, Harry Scott, Corrine shannon Paloka. today. These former student athletes are being recognized for their significant contributions and influence on Clark Athletics and the Clark community. Each inductee will be permanently recognized in the Hall of Fame display in the Keel Center and given a tributary plaque to commemorate this special occasion. In honor of induction to the Hall of Fame, this honor is the highest athletic honor bestowed by Clark University. Individuals inducted into the Hall of Fame must have demonstrated outstanding athletic achievement or significant and consistent contribution to the athletics program. They must be persons of high moral character, fine leadership ability, and must be held in high esteem by colleagues, coaches, athletes, and the Clark community. Each inductee will be introduced by a person they have chosen, except in the case of our first inductee. Bill McNally accepted his nomination to the Hall of Fame several months ago, but just recently learned that a business acquisition of his company was moved to this weekend. He is required to be in Chicago today. Although he sends his regrets for not being able to attend today, Bill humbly accepts his induction and is grateful for his experience at Clark. And uh, Bill and I went back and forth on, on a video. It was too big, it was too small, and he's involved in having to sit by the phone for this business acquisition that he's involved in. So to introduce Bill is our current head men's volleyball coach, Nick Clark with video comments from Bill's friend and former teammate, Kevin Perhatch. Nick? <clears throat> Chicago native, Bill McDowell, came to Clark in 1997 from Schaumburg High School, who was a key performer on the Crusaders volleyball squad during his four-year career. Bill finished his career ranked first in service aces, second in total points, and third in kills, kills per set and attack attempts. His numbers still rank among the all-time best. Bill currently ranks second in career points per set and service aces, third in total points, and fourth in kills and attack percentage. A four-year letter winner and three-time National Player of the Week, Bill was voted the recipient of the squad's Most Valuable Player Award in both 2000 and 2001. He reached the 1,000 kill plateau as a junior and was the 2001 West Intercollegiate Volleyball Association preseason all-conference selection. Bill and his teammates par participated in two Bolton Division III national championships, placing third in both 1999 and 2001. Bill's efforts at the 2001 championships landed him a spot on the all-tournament team. He garnered all-tournament team MVP honors at the UC Santa Cruz Invitational in 1998 and was named to the 2001 Clark Invitational All-Tournament Team. Off the court, Bill was named to the MIBA All-Academic Team in both 2000 and 2001. Bill received his Bachelor of Arts degree in accounting at Clark and later received his certified 
Public Accountant Certification. He is currently the Vice President of Finance at Balance Health in Chicago. Bill resides in Chicago with his wife Jacqueline and their two children, Emma and Bill. Thank you. Hi, Kevin Brash, class of 2001. You've uh, stated to me from Odell McNown. Sadly, I cannot tell you with an unbelievable story of the first time I met Bill. It was a group mentioned at the AWC when I rolled on the club drive halfway through my freshman year of college. I met Bill along with all my teammates, and my first practice it was an overwhelming day for me. I missed out on all the get to know you events at school and all the football practices with the team. It was a whirlwind event. But what I can tell you is that over the course of four years, I came to know Bill in a way that I knew would create a lifelong friendship. For every trial and tribulation any college student can face, I always had a true friend there to support me. Every party I had someone to smile and enjoy every time with. Every match win I had someone to exalt in victory with. And every match loss I had someone to figure out how to make our team better with. And every time I needed a side out or a point, I had a left arm I knew I could count on. Bill deserves the honor of being inducted into the Clark University Athletic Hall of Fame. His career stats that you just heard justify that without a doubt. But what his stats did not show you is that Bill was a consummate teammate. His need and desire to win pushed me to play at my absolute best. He also had an innate need to make his teammates better players. Either by guidance or sheer force, Bill demanded the best out of everyone that he played with. I spend a lot of time coaching youth volleyball now. I find myself trying to discover ways to emulate my friend, find ways to inspire, encourage, and train young volleyball players with the same mentality that I learned from Bill while playing at Clark. You all can call Bill with the graduate and the Hall of Famer in that team. His friends from high school call him Warren. Bill and Mary call him son. Aaron and Brianne call him brother. Bob and Cooper and MK and Jack call him uncle. Jackson calls him husband, and Emma and little Billy call him dad. I consider it one of the greatest honors of my life to call him friend. It is with great pride, humility, and distinction that I get to see my friend Bill McNally inducted into the Clark Athletic Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Bill. You deserve it. Schedule. Remember that, Joe? We had a practice schedule. The coach says, yeah, you don't have to come. 
and she lives off campus, and somehow she shows up through all the blizzard and all the snow drifts, and there she's practicing. And you know, it just shows the heart, heart that she had. So it's one of those things. And I guess one of the really epitomes of Clark, back then was Clark College, was we were playing in the conference tournament. We had to qualify to win the conference tournament. Remember that one? And we got beat by Aurora. So we had to come back through the loser's bracket, and we won the next two games of the championship and was on for the first time. So, you know, it just shows the resiliency that she has. And she's, it's been a pleasure of mine. So now we'll get down to the good stuff here. Okay. Uh, Jill came to Clark in 2003 following her graduation from Edgewood Colesburg High School, where she competed in basketball, softball, and volleyball. Many of Jill's marks set during her career at Clark still stand today. She is Clark's career leader in wins, 46. Saves at 6, appearances 123, strikeouts for 7 innings, that's 5.8, lowest opponent batting average, 0.242, and batter space, 2,272. She ranks second in starts at 80, shutouts for 13, innings pitched, 512, strikeouts 424, and games finished 36. Jill fashioned a career 2.42 ERA, third best of all time. Jill earned Northern Illinois Iowa Conference All Conference Honors in 2005, NIIC Honorable Mention All Conference Honors in 2006, when Clark posted its fourth straight 20 win season and was a D3 Independent First Team All Independent Selection and Clark Most Valuable Player in 2007. In 2008, Jill was a member of the Crusaders NCAA Regional Qualifying Team. Jill was the Clark's Female Freshman of the Year Award in 2004, and the Female Senior Athlete of the Year Award in 2007. Jill received her Bachelor of Science degree in nursing at Clark in 2007, her Master's of Nursing, uh, Nurse Practitioner degree in Clark in 2011, and her Doctorate of Nursing Practice at Clark in 2014. She was inducted into Sigma Theta Tau and uh, Tai uh, Honors Society for Nursing. Following her graduation from Clark in 2007, Jill served as an RN, BSN at the University of Iowa Hospitals Intensive Care Unit from 2007 to 2011. Since 2011, Jill has been a nurse practitioner at Physicians Clinic of Iowa Neurology in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. When asked about what she would like the Clark community to render about, Jill replied that hard work and determination does pay off in the end. Jill and her husband Adam reside in Amos, Iowa and have two children. Adeline, four and a half, and Anna, age two. So, here's you Thank you, Ken. So, first, I'd like to thank my family, especially my mom and my dad. They've supported me for 14 years of softball, so we've had those in third grade, hitting, hitting kids, sending them to the hospital, all the way up to my senior year of college, and making it the majority of my games in college as well. I'd also like to thank Coach Shugman for the 14 years that he put in hard work for me and made me the picture I am that I was through my teaching career. A couple things that I recall from Clark especially from Clark Athletics, is my time management. Time management when you're an athlete is hard, especially in the nursing profession. There were days that I was up at 4 o'clock in the morning at the hospital by 4.30 to finish to do a quick clinical to then turn around, get on a bus, and ride three or four hours to a softball game. To not get home until midnight, 1, 2 in the morning, to then do it all over the next day. So time management has been a huge thing that I've gained from Clark Athletics. The other thing would be the dedication and the determination. Like Coach Shugman said, the day that we had the storm, we was actually one of the two-a-day practices that I was supposed to be making for softball. And I, I was told I didn't have to come. Well, the part that Coach Shugman left out was that I actually ended up walking from my apartment because my car wouldn't start so that I could come and run my five miles that morning. <laughs> to then come back later that day to have a second practice. So determination and hard work has really been instrumental in my Clark Athletics as well, and has carried on into my nurse practitioner degree, as well as I'm leading a concussion 
group right now that we've been working on for almost a year, year and a half, so that we're going to be out rolling in the Cedar Rapids area. And I just want to thank you for this great honor. Thank you very much, Coach Freeze. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, 
uh, Kurt Long, Jerry Hansen, and the rest of the Hall of Fame committee for, for uh, this honor. I'd like to acknowledge the rest of the Hall of Fame inductees who I share this day with and all the previous inductees who have been recognized. I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to the Clark Athletic Training Program for when I was here. Um, that was led by Tony Breitbach, D. Higgins, Casey Corr, and Deanne Trapp, who I believe is also a Hall of Famer now. Um, they always found ways to keep uh, me on the field and also allow me to perform at a high level. Um, just a little background with that is, you know, I had three surgeries once I was done, so they kept me on the field while I, while I was uh, dealing with some shoulder stuff. Uh, to my wife, thank you for making the long drive now that from Canada, so now that uh, we know how long that drive is, and hopefully we can make it back uh, sooner than 10 years down the road. Um, and also, my fellow teammates and alumni, thank you for the heartwarming and special messages I've received. Uh, there is kind of one uh, teammate to do a, a memorial each year, Jack Mel. Uh, he actually passed away about six, six years ago now. Um, and I, I saw up in the Kill Center, there's a, a nice platform. We do a golf tournament for him uh, each year. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to make it back, but a couple of my teammates, Justin Wenzelman and, and Josh Kirks, they uh, do this tournament each year. Um, Jack obviously isn't here physically with, with me and, and even Coach Freeze. Jack was another guy Coach Freeze brought from California uh, with me. Jack was my teammate, my roommate. Um, but kind of like Kevin said about Bill earlier, Jack was a very good friend. Um, so I know he's not physically here with all of us. Um, you know, he's sitting down with us here today. Um, and then Coach Freeze. So thank you very much for trusting him and believing in this little 5'6 Canadian kid. Uh, from the time you saw me in California, you worked hard to allow me to become a crusader. Once I got here, you worked even harder. Uh, early mornings, late nights, yourself, Coach Patrick, you know, we'd go downstairs, hit, you'd open up the uh, batting cages down there, you'd put in a lot of extra time, uh, which is a big part to, you know, who I became as a baseball player. Um, you installed and expected hard work and work ethic both on and off the field. You enforce values and beliefs in which I am able to still carry with me today. So thank you very much, Coach Freeze. And to Coach Freeze, Clark Baseball, and I see a bunch of you guys here today. Thanks very much for coming. Uh, I got out to see you guys play yesterday. So, you know, keep keep working hard like you guys showed yesterday. Good things will come again. Uh, the whole Clark Athletics uh, program and the whole Clark University, I share this honor with each and every one of you. I am who I am today because of the whole Clark, Clark family. So thank you. Um, 
I'll save the personal stuff for the end because I get super emotional. And, uh, um, her reading with Shannon Bloopman is a product of Mother McCauley High School in Chicago, where her volleyball skills win in her spot in the Girls' Catholic Athletic Conference Hall of Fame. The Chicago native and 1996 graduate of Mother McCauley brought her enthusiasm and talent to Clark and made her mark on the Crusaders volleyball program. Kareem was voted the recipient of the Clark Volleyball uh, Program Newcomer of the Year Award following her freshman year in 1996. She followed that up with being recognized as the Northern Illinois Iowa Conference All-Conference Selection in 1997, 1998, and 1999. <laughs> I said, did you know that you got all these every year? Like, <laughs> Kareem was two-time Most Valuable Player, picking up the honor as a junior and a senior. She served two years as a team captain. With me, I also was a team captain. <laughs> <laughs> Kareem ranks first in career digs with 1,940 and service aces of 353. She's second in career kills, 1,290, and total points, 1,817. Third in career for attack attempts, 4,128, and digs per set, 3.98. So many statistics here, so many statistics. Um, she was seven in black solos, 94. So I obviously didn't get over there like that. <laughs> and black assists, 160. And ninth in total blocks, 250. She served as the head sophomore volleyball coach at Marist High School from 2008 to 2013 and currently coaches volleyball at St. John's Fisher School. She does volunteer fundraising work with Misericordia, Heart of Mercy. Kareem received her Bachelor's of Science degree in nursing from Clark in 2000. She has been employed at Little Company of Mary Hospital since 2003, where she serves as a member of the emergency room nurse, uh, nursing. Kareem and her husband, Daniel, reside in Evergreen Park, Illinois, and have three children, Aiden, Bryn, and Colin. Spell with me. I just have to tell you that I was not able to attend Kareem's wedding and stand up with her. Um, I just had a baby, so. Um, She's a wonderful person. Um, we went through nursing school together, volleyball. Um, we've been friends ever since. Actually, I didn't really like her at first. Um, <laughs> I transferred um, my sophomore year, and she was really loud and obnoxious, and I was like, I'm never going to be friends with her. And then, like, towards the end of the year, like, totally hit it off. She was just an awesome person, very outgoing. We have so many memories. I'm just so happy to have her friendly. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. It is an honor to be back here at Clark College. Um, it seems like just yesterday we were here uh, playing volleyball fulfilling our dreams uh, to be nurses. Uh, I couldn't have gotten through it without the help of many people. Uh, first, my parents, Peggy and Pat. Thank you for introducing me to the game of volleyball. I was there in the gym while you guys played it as I was growing up, and that's where I learned the sport. Um, thank you for all of your sacrifices um, so I could pursue my dream and play volleyball in college to Clark. Um, for driving to so many tournaments early in the morning, um, writing countless checks uh, for clubs and you know everything you need for sports, um, and most important, um, supporting me through the ups and downs of volleyball and sport. Um, my dad always told me that uh, you win some, you lose some, uh, but you dress for them all. Um, no matter if you're down or up, um, that got me through a lot of games. Um, and I learned to never give up in life, not just sports um, and everything. Mom, I remember my first day of Clark College. 
<laughs> very vividly, you were running late. Shocking. Um, <laughs> um, you dropped me off at the gym, we had a meeting, uh, first meeting, and there was really no time for goodbyes. Um, and so now that I'm a mother, I, I realize it must have been very tough to just drop me off um, and have a long four hour drive. So I love you guys and I appreciate everything you've done for me. Um, I would also like to thank all of my coaches uh, who helped me throughout my career. Uh, the late Judy Mulcrum, uh, Natalie Holder, Lisa Seeger, Jen DeGerald, Nancy Peterson, Naveed, Bob Pershma, and of course here at Clark, uh, Lon Boyk, um, and Amy Hawkins. Um, every coach always pushed me to be harder, to work harder, um, to be the best player I could be. Um, last but certainly not least, um, thank you for all the, um, to all the players that I had a chance to be on and off the volleyball court with, um, especially Christy. Um, we were inseparable, whether it was nursing classes, volleyball practices. Um, I couldn't have gotten through it without you. Um, thank you for coming to Clark. Um, I always felt like you were my second family. Uh, Bev and Al never missed a game. Uh, they were our biggest fans, traveling with us everywhere we went. Um, and we always made the most of our time in the park van. Those long trips, um, singing, playing games. We had this one game we played Fuzzy Bunny. Chrissy, I think you had like 60 some Skittles in your mouth. We had put a Skittle in. So you couldn't say fuzzy money anymore. And she must have had like 50 or 60 skittles. <laughs> I don't know. How, how many? Tell me. She probably remembers. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, we had so many memories. Um, and I'm just honored to, to be part of the uh, and um, to be here. And I want to just thank the Clark family for making all these special moments possible. So thank you, everyone. Each of you holds a special place in the history of Clark University. Thank you. 